Welcome back everyone. It is mid 2023. It is late May and this video is going to be providing you with a overview, a cursory overview of the Unusual Whales platform. Now you might be thinking we've had an overview of the Unusual pl Whales platform. Correct, we have. But the reason that I'm making this video is there have been so many changes. Unusual Whales has had a lot of features, a lot of value, a lot of different utility for everybody to take a look at. They've made some changes to the UI. So it's structured a little bit differently. Things are laid out a little bit differently. There have been significant amount of changes such that I felt it was appropriate to have a refresher. So let's get started. And the way the format's gonna work here is I'm gonna take you through several items and just give you brief descriptions, some explanations. And then what we're gonna do is dig in and I'm gonna make references to different videos that I have because I have a lot of videos in fact i have a full playlist on unusual whales where you could dig in deeper so if you see a feature and you say hmm that's interesting you can dig in i'll give you a full detailed explanation step by step again this is a cursory overview just to give you an idea of what is where what some of the new features are what the utility is and why it makes sense to use unusual whales as a tool for screening the market if you are so inclined so let's just get started here okay so here we are in the unusual option flow. Everybody knows this. I've provided a lot of information. We've gone into depth. I have a lot of videos on this. This is what I'm going to mark as an area where you can see a full video that I've created for you to understand this in depth. Looking at how to screen for options flow is not as straightforward as you might think. You don't just look at every single options contract. Some are more significant, some are less significant, right? So here's the premium spent. Just for example, if I take off filters and I just put in some random filters and dates here, well, you could be seeing $12. Would $12 on AMD being spent be of significance to you? Probably not, unless you were trying to find your own trade and say, hey, that was me. Maybe that's cool, but otherwise there's no real significance. So you wanna use filters so you can filter the premium amount, the size, you can look at spot price, days to expiry. I talk about everything that is significant in terms of premiums and how to filter options flow and I've got that in a bunch of different videos and that is on my Unusual Whales playlist. So you could take a look at that. So you could see it here, quite a few options. Again, there's a full video on that. But let's take a look down and let's expand this menu. Hottest contracts, what are we seeing here? Well, as the name describes, the hottest contracts running right now, and you can see that is up to the second. There are all the contracts you can shake a stick at, right? And we're looking, you can see the, some of the same information with the volume, the premiums are, the bid-ask volume, see ratios here. One thing that's great with Unusual Whales, and you're gonna see this as we go along in essentially every single page, every single feature, hover your cursor over. If you don't understand something, hover your cursor over, right? Of course, I have full videos that take you through so many different features, but if you're just looking for something quick, you can take a look, right? Unusual Whales explains to do a great job with the captions and you can see all the data on the hottest contracts right here and again there's some filtering that you can do you can put your results per page date these are the most important ones you can filter tickers and then we have flow alerts of course this is pretty straightforward you see what's going on and there's description again i love this it tells you what the alert is repeated hits volume is over the oi which is open interest right so you can see the different reasons why these are popping up open interest explorer of course you can explore you get all the different ratios data you get the previous with the the various premiums and the uh, volume allocations, open interest, etc. You can see everything here, and it's the same idea. You get that breakdown from usual whales. And sometimes you're looking for what's hottest because you're saying, I want to trade what's on trend, right? So maybe that's your strategy, but maybe you're just looking at open interest and you're exploring. That could be part of your strategy. So there are different areas. It may seem redundant, but they're not. They are for different items and fits into different people's strategies. And this, of course, you can select the ticker and you can explore the chain. So if you're looking at Apple and you could pull up one of Apple's contracts here and you could start exploring the chain, right? You could take a look and you can get more information on it. So you can see how that chain performed on different days, right? You can see this is the 175, so the 519 expiry, that's calls. And you can say, how did this perform uh, earlier? Was this being loaded? What was going on? Do we see a shift? Okay, so we see the bid ask here. We see a spread move over on one side. Maybe that shifts in coming days. Maybe that's part of your strategy. Maybe the total premium spent is part of your strategy to understand. Is this being loaded? Are we, are we spiking towards a specific date? Could be of interest to you. Whatever your strategy is, if it's of utility to you, you can dig in and break down. Of course, it's not just for Apple. You could choose the, expire, the ticker, the expiry, then type. Of course, it's calls or puts, and then choose your strike, right? And there's full list so you can explore all the chains as it's aptly named of course this is the chain explorer right contract lookup um, we have flow charting 
right? So I have quite a bit on this and it, there's a really great modular feel to the Unusual Whales dashboard and platform. So it's very helpful uh, to move around for a free tool, something that most people can just dig into, take a look. It's great, take a look. Don't feel overwhelmed, right? You don't have to use the data to form a trade, but it could just be of utility to you. Um, and so this is the flow charting. Of course, we get non-standard options for those of you who are a little bit more inclined and have an understanding here, if this is something that is interesting to you. And you can see handily, Unusual Oil says, read this blog post for a little bit more. Super flow, this is cool. You can move this around and I've done that, right? So you can see I can grab this, I can move it around, I can put it back, I can move it over here, I can dig in. So that's what I meant, but when I say modular, you can close it, you can expand it. I actually have a video and I recommend if you're interested in this, how to use a super flow. So you can kind of see different things going on at the same time, right? So you've got your flow, you've got um, flow alerts, and then you've got your charting over here. And so I have a full video on this and we're gonna move right along and you can look at the zero DT flow, of course, that is zero days to expiration. A lot of people trade zero DT. You see that on Fridays, zero DT, or of course, if there's a holiday on a Friday, Thursday would be zero DTE. But if you're trading things like SPY and QQQ, those are also zero DT frequently because there are so many offerings and so much liquidity. Market data, let's take a look. Market overview, what do we see here? Again, great, and I've covered this in previous videos. You can see the daily market tide, you get a lot of information. If you wanna know what that means, of course, click here. There's an explanation and a description. You get the latest news. Latest news, what is that? You're gonna get good, significant news. Not like some brokerages, I, I'm telling you, some of the news you get from brokerages, for those where you don't subscribe and you haven't curated it, you get some really silly news. I once took a screenshot and on my Twitter feed, of course, to my to those who follow me, I showed them how, how silly some of the posts could be. There was a post about kangaroos and an issue with kangaroos and koalas. That's great if it's relevant to the stock. This was on the S&P 500 news, the SPY actually, the ETF. And I remember looking at that thinking, why would you put this into the feed? Now I'm thinking about kangaroos. Um, so again, you want significant, you want relevant news and Unusual Whales does a very good job of that. And of course, there's all the other data here. You get a sector flow, daily market tides, tides all the information you're looking for. If you're looking for the news feed, you don't want it on the side there, here you go. Here's the source, here's the news, and you can just sort of peruse through. And this is a good option to keep yourself up to date. Sector flow, pretty straightforward. The various sectors, right? So you can have the financials, energy, consumer staples, discretionaries. These are all things that I discuss frequently. And because there's significance in the various sectors, again, you may not know how to leverage this data. So don't go chasing it. Don't ever do that with any data when it comes to making trades or formulating ideas. Don't just say, oh, this is red today. So that must mean X. Oh, there was a big inflow to the semiconductors yesterday. Okay, I'm gonna jump on that. Things change day to day, but this is good information. All information is useful if you can put it together to perform to come together with a useful thesis right the same thing with options flow if you just see a bunch of puts come in it doesn't mean the stock's going to go down or calls there's a lot of different things that could be going on but more data is good you can't come to a conclusion without crunching data so that's the sector flow pretty straightforward it's great and i like the visual as well so it's not just a matter of seeing the sector flow and the data up here if you're someone who likes to look at the numbers you're covered if you're someone who prefers looking at a heat map you're covered. You're looking at the SPY. You don't have to just look at the SPY. You can look inside of a specific sector and get a feel for it. So what are we seeing? Why is ExxonMobil so big? Well, because it makes up a bigger portion, right? So that's great. So it's, it's a visual and it's a representation where you see the small little companies here don't make up as big a portion of this sector. Moving on, earnings calendar, pretty straightforward. This is a good, clean breakdown of when and where earnings are going to be here, what time rather. So pre-market or after hours, meaning are they reporting before the bell or after the bell, right? And so you could choose by week. So let's take a look at next week because the 19th just passed. So I'm going to pull that up quick, fast, responsive. Uh, you probably don't know this. I don't know if he minds me saying this. I don't think so. Unusual whales. He's a computer engineer. You think that he might have been a trader. Of course, to build something this this sleek and responsive, you'd be a, a good software engineer. Sorry, I say computer engineer. Uh, and a talented one, clearly. Quick, responsive. He's got the icons here, so you can identify it by that. But of course, you're looking for what? You're looking for the ticker. So what do you see here? TD, you probably recognize that big. Uh, I, I guess I'd probably recognize most of these. But uh, again, you can look, you can click, you can pull it up if you want to click on... Uh, on a specific security, you're going to get all that data, right? So that's the cool thing about it. If something's coming up with earnings, you say, oh, what is that? You're going to get a lot of data. So we'll go right back, of course. 
So that is the earnings calendar analyst ratings. Well, again, straightforward. You see what the analyst, analyst ranking is, where they're, where they're working, of course, Bernstein, Evercore, Barclays. Uh, some of you have seen videos, of course, where I'm, I was going into a couple of the offices of a couple of the names on, on here. Uh, I put that up on sort of my fun days. And here are the tickers, of course, that they're rating. So what does this mean? Well, here's his rating from May 12th. That's uh, Tony uh, Sakonagi. I hope I didn't uh, butcher his name. And what is his rating? Well, his action, he's saying, I put a hold on Apple with the target 175. And you're going to see there's different ratings, right? You see buy, holds, uh, in a variety of different ratings. And sometimes when you read in the news, you're going to hear overweight, underweight, neutral, etc. And then we look at the market cap. We know what it is for Apple. Now, you could look at different tickers. You can filter by the firm, the action. Again, maintain, initiated. Initiated means they started their coverage. Downgraded, upgraded, reiterated. Pretty straightforward. I'll use this term quite frequently when I'm on my watch list. I say, hey guys, I'm putting a Twitter watch list up. And this is the evening. I'm looking at it. I'm going to reiterate in the morning. Or I may have some changes based on after hours activity. You get the idea. And then you can see all the different filters. Stars, market cap, etc. Holiday schedule. I think that's pretty straightforward. But for those of you who are wondering... This is the holiday schedule, of course. We have one coming up because right now it is May 20th and May 30th is the next holiday. After that, we'll have Juneteenth. So don't forget, that's going to be on the 19th this year. Sorry, and it was May 29th this year for uh, Memorial Day. Straightforward holiday calendar. Uh, stock splits, when there's a stock split feed, uh, you'll see when there are splits. You'll see the company name. You'll see the action perform the split ratio. That's important. That tells you what you're going to see. Is it a 10 to 1? Is it a 1 to 10? Because you can have splits. You can have reverse splits. Dividends feed. Again, straightforward. Who's paying out the dividends? What day? What is the company? Uh, what is the sector? The frequency? The market cap? Etc. You can get all the information on that for those of you who are interested. Data shop is a little bit different. You can get the downloads, right? So you can explore here. Options chain data. Insider trade data. There's all sorts of different data. And downloads are not instant. There's a little bit of a disclaimer here. Not unusual oils. That's a good job and letting you know what to expect of course you download the latest options trades or dark pool data and that's the csv files who's that useful for for those of you who prefer to look at data and be able to manipulate it on your own so say that you're proficient in using microsoft excel or spreadsheet software you would want to do this i love using spreadsheets i love having my own data at my fingertips we run different models um, we run macros and you know you can learn to program and code different things so we do a lot of our modeling through spreadsheets that we integrate with software. So for those of you who are into data analytics or maybe more comfortable with that, this would be something cool for you. Stock data, pretty straightforward. Dark pool feed. For those of you who aren't familiar with doc, what the dark pool is, I have that a video on that. You can see a little bit more. You can learn about it. You get your feed on the dark pool here. You get the whale feed. Also pretty cool, right? Where the whales making their moves. What are we seeing? What are the securities here? Halts and the pauses straightforward so you probably have heard about it most of you know this but for those of you who don't security can be halted because let's say it's taking a nosedive or let's say it's uh, taken off it can it can hit the breaker and it can be halted by the exchange for a variety of different reasons right we've seen some newer reasons um this year or at least what we understand to be so it's always a possibility and you can take a look and some people actually like to trade the volatility of securities that get halted high risk strategy but if you're inclined and that is your style it's where, where you can find that information. Insider trades, pretty straightforward. Again, another great resource for data and information, but again, also be careful. If you're new and you hear insider trades, it doesn't mean that, oh my goodness, I heard there was an insider trade and they're selling Apple. Everybody sell or everybody buy. Insider trades can be made for a variety of different reasons. It can be uh, something to do with your tenor at the specific company. It can be a warrant or an option that you needed to exercise. There can be a variety of different reasons. But again, data allows you to analyze a little bit more and take a look. Ticker Explorer, of course, there's quite a bit here. You can see the options flow. You can see an overview. Charting, I have an entire video on charting. Guys, take a look at my playlist. I break this down specifically. It would be, you know, it deserved its own video because there's quite a bit here, right? So if you use any paid charting for, you know, five or ten dollars a month or whatever you're paying elsewhere, this is a great free option, particularly if you don't have access to some of the U.S. brokerages. I know there are people who are working internationally or if you just want to consolidate and have your workspace in unusual whales while you're exploring. There's quite a bit here. You can apply studies. You can change the time frames. Of course, you see one one day, week, month minutes hours half hour and you can go with different chart types right so you can look at candles some people like bars some people like to have a different visual right whatever you like there's quite a bit 
surprisingly, right, you even have uh, the Heiken Hashi bars. So uh, there's quite a bit there. And again, I have a full video on that. So if you want to learn a little bit more about it, really, really great feature here. It's, it's surprising that Unusual Whales integrate, integrates this into their platform. Realize volatility, you see the different volatility spikes, and you could do the analysis on that. Again, this is one of those things that's a bit advanced and it changes day to day. So my, my suggestion to everybody is, when you see a lot of information, don't get caught up. Don't finally learn like one thing about volatility and think, ah, I have the inside track. I saw this, I analyzed this, this is what's happening. A lot of these items are very complex. Um, correlation is in causation. So make sure, you know, measure 10 times, cut once. I know the saying is measure twice, cut once, but you're using your money here. It's not a piece of wood, you can't replace it, right? Uh, just be careful or anywhere you're doing it, you know, measure, measure a few times, cut once. So you can see what the daily gamma exposure is, right? So for those of you who are inclined and exposure by strike. So if you want to understand, or if you understand and you're looking at Greeks and how the gamma exposure, some people like to look for setups of potential gamma squeezes, etc. That's here. Options chain, again, you know, straightforward. You could dig in a little bit. Open interest changes or OI changes, which stands for open interest changes and volume changes. You can see how that flows. Are people opening up? Is there more interest coming into the market? Is there a volume change? What are people doing? This is a great place to see that. Flow history, another one of those that are pretty straightforward. You can see how the history is played out to give you an idea leading up. So that sometimes when you combine that with additional information points, that can help you out. Fundamentals, you know, pretty straightforward. You can see some of the information here. You can see the ratios, you can see the uh, PDE, so it's price to earnings, market cap, ex dividend dates, earnings dates. You can get an idea for what the regular average volume is. It's good to see this sort of thing. You know, for there's just so many data points here that you could use, but you could look at something and say, there's a volume spike one day, and you say, yeah, I want to trade that. And maybe you look and see, oh, wait, the average volume is really low. Why is there always low liquidity? Was yesterday anomalous? Might I be entering something that is very low float or not really traded? Um, what information could I leverage here to make an informed decision to make a better trade? Well, you can get a lot of information. ETF exposure, of course, you get an idea for that, right? So we know what ETFs are, and you can look at them and see where does it have exposure relative to, to these ETFs. Of course, you can kind of choose down here and get a little bit more, get a few more options to get a better understanding. Um, options charting, of course, right? Get a little bit more straightforward here. And we start to get, once you get the grid view, for those of you who are comfortable with it, you can see some different percentages there. And we'll, I have a video that explains this a little bit more in depth, but again, Sometimes seeing things, even if there's a little bit of overlap, seeing things differently can be very, very helpful, right? It's taking a different look, getting a different uh, angle on the data. Of course, you want to delta theta. For those of you who understand the Greeks, like I said earlier, uh, particularly as we looked at it with, you know, gamma, and if you're looking at gamma squeezes, and this is the delta distribution in theta, you can also look at max pain. And I have a video. It's on my other playlist. It's on how to trade options if you want to get my take on max pain. So this is a max pain chart. I break that down in detail because a lot of people like to use Max Payne as a way to make trades. Some people just use it for a little bit of information. I use it a little bit more just for information, if anything, or curiosity points. But please understand that before you pursue it and say, hey, I'm just going to use the Max Payne strategy. This is a great resource. It's there for you. And again, it can help you out by taking a look here. Pretty straightforward. You can read it and understand historical price targets performance. You can see how analysts are working with this, where those analysts are from, the symbol, of course, that we're still on Zim. Uh, you can see their, their recommendations. And what's cool is it's not just their recommendation, but to the right, you can see whether it's downgraded, maintained, reiterated, meaning a hold downgraded, that means it was a buy, right? If a sell is reiterated, it was a sell, still is a sell. Maintained, was a buy, still is a buy. So maintain, reiterated, right? You're just coming out and telling everyone again watch list pretty straightforward right you can set up all your watch list you see the performance look at sector views etc right we went through a little bit of that but you can customize and create your own watch list unusual whales tools there's quite a few here options calculator what is that how does that work i explain everything in a separate video again this is one of those features because options calculators there are a lot of options calculators. If you're in the Unusual Whales platform, why don't you just use one here if you're using one, right? How do you use it? There's an explanation here. I give a full, really easy to understand breakdown on how to use it and not only how to use it, but what it's used for in terms of strategy. I have been a professional. I became a professional in 2005. I've been around the space for you know, 18 years now. Uh, since becoming a professional and been trading for quite a bit of time, 
I explain things through my lens and through the lens of a professional to give you a better understanding. And it's all really straightforward, similar to the way that I'm speaking here. I don't try to be overly complicated with complex or technical jargon because the idea is to help people understand, not to speak so that I can impress myself. You speak so that you can be of utility and serve your audience. And here we go, paper trading. Do you want to paper trade? This is a great place to, to kind of get a feel for that. Remember, paper trading is not the same as live trading, but it can be useful to just get you in the feel of things. And maybe sometimes you want to take a step back. Um, and sometimes certain platforms behave a little bit differently. The one thing with paper trading, particularly on most brokerages or that you're going to find is it's a little bit easier because there's they just fill liquidity. But this is great. You get some good data here from unusual whales and you don't have to be logging in or using your brokerage account. Again, you're consolidated in one, one place. Trading journal, pretty straightforward. Anything that's a journal, I think that's a... Uh, that's pretty straightforward to connect a broker, upload your own history. Again, you can upload your own history, look at the statistics, and you can see you can do that all right here. And there's details on that, and it's walkthrough pretty easy. Unusual Whales has its own education. You can click on a lot of these items and take a deep dive, um, or just see on the beginners. Of course, portfolios, you see different. There's a lot of politicians here, different people, and get an idea and look at their portfolios. Correlation Explorers, of course, for those of you who are inclined a little bit more advanced, you can see correlations between different securities and how they perform. Uh, accordingly to the two, what the correlation is and how tight the correlation is, it's given a rating. What is the percentage? Is there a tight correlation? Is there a loose correlation? Is there no correlation? Discord bot, pretty straightforward. Bring an unusual whales user. Option strategy, options dashboard, market heat maps. We know what market heat maps look like. I think these are pretty cool, right? Again, you don't look at one and say red or green for a day and go out and start YOLO trading. That's nonsense. I condemn that in the highest and no professional or successful trader behaves that way respect your money but this is pretty cool and i love visuals and i know a lot of people are really visual so charting tool right we explained this i have a full video on this so guys please check that out and of course you can see the unusual whales media and they give you all the different options there and then just miscellaneous there's quite a bit here news futures shorts you can see shorts and short interest alerts um like crypto etfs nft socials right all the way down that you can have your own stock screener uh, set up here. This is this is pretty easy. You know, I'm just picking a few randomly. I think most people can understand what some of these are. Economic calendar, what's coming up. What does the economic calendar say, right? So we, you have the S&P Global Comp Flash, and that's PMI on uh, May 23rd. You kind of you see core CPI. Uh, that's for the UK, and it shows you which country, what's happening, what the forecast is, what the prior was. Uh, features of course you get a better understanding of the various features with an unusual wells and don't forget there's an app for on ios boo and there's an app on android yay just kidding uh, i don't really have a team here but uh, there's one for both or you can use it on desktop as well don't forget this is very functional on desktop but if you want to be able to log in let's say you get set up and you have alerts and you have all of your information on unusual wells and you're on the go don't go to the mobile website download the app right and then merch um i think this one's pretty straightforward the merch is pretty cool i have one of the hoodies unusual whales whale was uh was kind enough to send me some merchandise and i have a hoodie in fact it's pretty cool my wife stole it that's that's how much she liked it i i haven't gotten that back for a while she wears it around the house a lot so uh if you ever see me walking around beside somebody with an unusual whales hoodie that's my wife who stole it from me okay guys uh, that provides you with a cursory overview of the updated Unusual Whales user interface uh, and dashboard. Lots to look at. You can also go up to your settings in the top right. Look at the change log. It keeps that updated. It does a really good job here. Um, and again, look at my videos for specific breakdowns of different sections. Seems overwhelming, but just take it in. You know there's free options. You can sign up. If you sign up and you want a discount, of course, Look at the link that I provide. You get a discount on your membership, or if you're just trying it out, there will be a discount. Go through that. There's a code, uh, and I provide that for you as a courtesy to everybody who's watching this video. Or if you just want to try it for free, you can go try uh, the free version of Unusual Whales. Great platform. I hope this was helpful, and we will continue making updates.